After our fantastic month of discovery in Yukon, we headed south into British Columbia, following the 900-kilometer-long Cassiar Highway. There were very few gas stops, and a couple times we came dangerously close to running out. We spotted a sign for Jade City, which is a tourist stop specializing in jade and other rare minerals. We bought a couple trinkets for friends and handpicked a small bag of our favorite pieces of raw jade. There were signs of massive forest fires, which had burned in the past years. Further along near Iskit, we stopped at a quiet campground for a couple of nights and were so happy to find a couple of other kids and a huge litter of nine puppies to play with. Back on the road, Cassiar Mountain scenery was replaced with Northern Plateau and the Skeena Mountain Ranges. We met many black bears, a red fox, porcupines, and lots of fox. Our next stop was Terra Specie, where we celebrated our two-month trip anniversary with a dinner out at Boston Pizza. It felt really special to be enjoying a meal inside a restaurant after months of everything being closed. We loved our first hike through West Coast Rainforest, stopping every few minutes in wonder of the crazy new plants, huge snails, and massive mossy trees. seashore, we explored the tide pools and played with huge bull kelp, which had washed ashore. We had been looking forward to the overnight ferry out of Prince Rupert. The Inside Passage, as it's known, travels through the islands of the Caribou Coast and holds promise of beautiful views of the coastal rainforest and the wildlife which calls them home. The whole journey was 14 hours with two stops along the way. The most scenic parts were during daylight. So we spent most of our time up on deck, soaking in the sun and peering through our binoculars. We were rewarded with sightings of humpback whales, dolls, porpoise, and some sea lions. The mountains were lush and green, and the water was calm. We all slept well, at least compared to the overnight ferry to Newfoundland last year. We enjoyed a couple of sunny days in a small historical seaside town of Telegraph Cove. The harbor was very quaint and offered up a fantastic museum about whales. We enjoyed ice cream and explored the touristy shops. Mom took a day-long boat ride to the Grizzly Coast to spot some beautiful bears which called the area home. She was delighted to see lots of bears, including the very same bear which was filmed as the star of Disney Nature's Grizzly documentary that we'd watched a couple weeks before.
We had spent a week moving every day or two, and we were looking forward to the two weeks in one spot, relaxing and soaking in the Pacific. We'd booked a fantastic campground right on the Pacific coast in Tofino. It was our first real chance to swim in the Pacific Ocean, and we spent countless hours searching for shells and sand dollars, exploring the seaside caves and tide pools. The Rainforest Trail in the Pacific Rim National Park was incredible. We could see thousands of years of trees growing and decaying in thick layers. It felt like exploring a Jurassic Park movie or any of those pictures in science books that show what the Earth looked like millions of years ago. We spent a day at the aquarium in Euclid, where we learned about so many beautiful fish and other creatures local to the area. A short sea taxi out of Tofino took us to the big tree trail, which once again led us through old growth rainforest and ended with a view of one of the world's largest western red cedar trees, named the Hanging Garden, which is over 1,500 years old. Some of the thousand year old trees were hollow and we could all fit inside while others were so tall we could barely see the tops in the mist. Dad celebrated his 40th birthday while in Tofino, so we planned a deep sea fishing excursion. We chartered a boat and spent the day in search of salmon and halibut. After several hours, we didn't catch a thing. We joked that we caught a 40 pound cyan. But it would sure have been fun to catch a couple real fish. Still, the ocean was calm and peaceful and it was a great experience. After a few hours of unsuccessful fishing, we tried our hand at finding some whales and we weren't let down. I we spotted several gray whales and an otter before heading back to the harbor with a great day of memories.
Our final stop on Vancouver Island is in the Comox Valley, where we enjoyed the final days of summer on the warm beaches. We had a fantastic campsite backing right out onto the Strait of Georgia, where we spotted birds and whales each night from our dinner table, set against the backdrop of the coast mountains. A ginormous crab back. I spotted this as soon as we went beach combing, and it's super big. <laughs> We left Vancouver Island on the ferry from Nanaimo, heading to the mainland for a month. Though we knew we'd be back on the island for the winter, we loved our time here and were looking forward to seeing the big mountains of the Rockies.